Oh, Yvonne, last year we had, you know, the career year for RCC basketball in an awful long time. We, uh, you know, we were 29-9 uh, and nine and got beat in the Final Four to State of California. And uh, we, uh, we were within a couple baskets of, uh, you know, winning it all. So, uh, you know, and we had a sophomore team, obviously, and we lost all those kids. Two outstanding players back. We have uh, uh, Daryl Flicking, who already this year has broke the uh, scoring record for uh, most points in one game, 59. And then we have Raymond Mingalex, who uh, is, uh, was one of the leading assist people in the state last year. And he's already broke the single season assist record at RCC last year. And this year already he's broke the single game with, uh, I believe it was uh, 20 in a game. Basketball. <laughs> 
basketball, a simple game of getting the ball into the hoop? I think not. It takes both hard work and team effort to play the game. This is Ivan Diaz reporting from, from the gym. Basketball, a simple game of getting basketball, a simple game of getting the ball into the hoop? I think not. It takes both hard work and team effort to play the game. This is Ivan Diaz reporting from RCC News. Now back to you at the studios. Basketball, a simple game of getting the ball into the hoop? I think not. It takes both hard work and team effort to play the game. This is Ivan Diaz reporting from RCC News. Now back to you in the studios. Hi, this is a sweatshirt and our bike in just about three minutes here, so get a ticket filled out for yourself. that will be raffling off throughout the year for students who participate in our student rideshare program. Student rideshare program was put in place to help you, to help us with traffic problems as well as help out with environmental problems, the obvious. Um, there's all kinds of incentives. This bicycle is just one of them. Monthly we're giving out food coupons, dinners for two, all kinds of stuff. Um, so please keep involved in our student rideshare program and watch out for our our newsletters and things like that because we'll, we'll get more information to you. Right now we're going to raffle off our Guiana Iguana mountain bike. Giant, 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 Giant. Oh. Here it is. Rick, you something. Oh, okay. That's me if you guys should know. Lynn. Stand free. Cry, driving, Lynn. Congratulations. You got yourself a brand new mountain bike. Remember, this is student rights here. Be involved. Make a difference. He's gone. He's gone. Doesn't waste any time. We haven't said it on yet. All right, take some beans there. Rick. Okay, he's looking at me and laughing a little bit here. Okay, um, I'll just ask you the four questions and you just tell me how like, you do Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, so when did uh, Right Share start at the community college? The student Right Share program started um, the fall semester of 1982. And it's a result of a negotiated settlement with the AQMD for a violation of our employee program. We agreed to run the student rideshare program for a two-year period um, and report the results of our program to the AQMD. How does one join rideshare? <clears throat> Students interested in joining the rideshare program need to come down to our office and fill out an application for a student rideshare permit. Um, after completing that, we will issue a carpool permit that allows them to park in the carpool parking. They must also purchase a student permit that allows them to park anywhere on campus. And they do receive a $10 discount uh, for a student permit. Is that right, Chair, successful at RCC? 
It's still in its, in its infant stages. We're still fine-tuning it, but uh, we've had over 675 students this semester sign up for the program. So I think each year it gets a little bit bigger. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to shake my head no because, you know, he's not going to say anything no. Um, like, you know, kind of a surprise. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'll, do a, I'll do a surprise nod, okay. <laughs> that was natural. <laughs> that girl natural, huh? Uh, I'm, I only do this thing with my hands, so. Oh. Yeah, we've noticed that there's a new addition to the bookstore. Uh, how old what do you think of the new bookstore? Why, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay. Okay. See. <laughs> okay. 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 first just in time for our uh, ran around seven hundred thousand dollars but it wasn't only for the bookstore it uh, did encompass three offices uh, below us which was the health services EOPS office and international student office well basically the store was built in 1968 uh, at that time we had a student population of 8,000 last year we peaked at about 24,000 I think it was about time for a uh, little more room um, with the addition, it's about 7,200 square feet. Mike, I think they got cut. Oh. Excuse me, do you know where Miss Doretta Soul is? Yeah, <laughs> she's stocking books in the reference section. <laughs> <laughs>